to a man, you can try and understand what's a lion to a lamb. I made history, then history began. Black excellence will be consistently <laughs> Ready to fight? Ready. Let's All right, here's the Sugar Show, Sean O'Malley. Ready to go tonight against Aljamain Sterling, and these guys have gone back and forth a little bit, but Aljo understands the challenge that is in front of him here tonight, and uh, we'll see how he chooses to proceed. Most expect he'll try to grapple. When I look at the matchup, I feel it's the boxing of O'Malley versus the grappling of Aljamain Sterling. But how does Sterling deal with the in-between? From striking to wrestling, that'll allow for him to get the fight to the ground, to get the fight to the ground safely without getting hit by one of those bombs from the Sugar Show. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Sterling's in half guard now. Print the shirts, ground and pound. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. All right, hammer fist here by Sterling. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Pretty good elbow there from the bottom. Gotta stay active off of your back. Oh, now looking to posture up, and he lands a big head strike. Nicely done there by Sterling. Under 90 seconds to go. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, head kick gets home. Don't want to take too many of those. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. John, you gotta just go work, forward and let work, everything work, fly. Work. He's gotta be careful here. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. One knee, he's fighting. Both of these guys are trying to win. Round two coming up next. All right, heading back to the corner and. O'Malley's bleeding from the forehead there a little bit. It doesn't appear to be too bad. The focus for the cut man, though, to make sure that he can stop the bleeding and not allow the blood to get into the eyes. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, let's get to round two. His opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Body shot. Big play with the right. Oh, 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 Massive body kick lands. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite... Oh! He's in a lot of trouble. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Oh! Oh! Flying knee to the goal. Sure if 
I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the take. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. All right, so the hands are crispy tonight. Not exactly what we thought we would see out of this wrestler, but as a former two-time U.S. Olympian yourself with some... He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Oh, you can feel the reverberations here at the broadcast booth as he slams him down there with conviction. You should see that. The moment those two big boys hit the back, John paper went flying. It was amazing. Where's that working man camera? Yeah, we need that working man right now. <laughs> this table is a mess. <laughs> Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off in a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, great transition there as he reverses to top position. Beautiful work on the ground there by Sterling. Remain in the round. Sterling's now cut above the eye from that strike. That bears watching as this fight continues. O'Malley's right back to the full mount here. Yep, gotta be very careful there. All right, relax for me, bud. Final seconds here. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. Oh, you gotta either have Stop. two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangle. All right, that is it for that round, and Sterling's... All right, let's check out some of the action from that. Ready to fight. Ready. Third round on the way. Look to the head there by O'Malley. Another good stick to the head. Nice punch lands over the top. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Good combination. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another shot. Oh, what a head kick there as he lands. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. O'Malley's looking to pass out of the half guard here and get that side control, but he is denied by the opposition. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. Oh, he's got the arm bar deep. Oh, that looks painful. That's got to be it. His words, I'm going to stand this up. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over, John, and then he just gets up. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are showing a lot of heart right now in this fight. They're both doing amazing jobs. Let's see who gets the job done at the end of this thing. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Well, that's how you draw it up. Nice trick to secure the takedown. Strong reversal there. White setting up for an on ball now. He's got it isolated. Oh my goodness, I thought it was over. I thought this fight was over. Sterling gets back up. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Sterling's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. O'Malley gets another takedown. He's one of the better takedowns. 
takedown artist in this featherweight division. Ooh, that looks wicked tight. It's getting tight now. He's advancing. You gotta be kidding me. How did he get out? He just stayed calm. He's able to withstand the fire. And now he finds himself out and safe. Wow, belly down. This could be it. Body kick right there. Get a dose of dirty cold to go. Be close to cold flow. Got a wire to enlarge and I set a fire down below. I hang it up when you say sorry, didn't know. Probably got a year, ten to go, so let's go. I don't really know how to go slow. Got damn that motherfucker's cold. Hey. You in the wrong mode, you open and close, you know, holes, no go. This whole world's a shit mode, built to the brim like hit mode. When you think it don't get more low, with the bows to the sticks on flow. All the pressure's born alive, so I don't make the rules of just one guy. All due respect to getting spit on, how respect is not a fine. Hey. But you got scared to break the Kool Aid. Oh. Never built for just one group. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. So here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, Iron Mike Tyson out of Brooklyn, New York. Stylistically, you're going to see a lot of uppercuts and hooks. Don't blink or you'll miss this fight. The Tyson flurry is coming. Perhaps the takedown defense, though, will be tested. If this fight stays upright, that is a problem for the opposition. Same bat time, same bat channel. You think he's going to look to set up that hook again? Here I mean, you can see it, John. You can see him doing it. You can see him sneaking looks to see where that hand is going to be. He's sneaking looks because he's going to find the opportune time to drop that big hook over the top. Big right hand there. Huge left hand. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. Well, it looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut of the... Oh, would appear to be in real trouble. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Circling towards the left. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Tyson. So he's really starting to put together some significant body. Oh! Damage being doled out. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Well, we've seen a lot of different elements to his striking game tonight, especially that hook. We'll see if he sets it up again here. He has punctuated a lot of his combinations with that hook shot tonight. Every strike he lands, that cut gets worse. Yeah, it's getting worse, and he needed to address it a little bit sooner because now that damage is It came at the right time. He got knocked down just before the horn. We'll see if his corner can keep him in the fight. Just 60 seconds with which... 
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but... You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got... Oh, that's one of those shots One could be over soon. Now goes in and secures the takedown. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that. Oh, Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here's the Korean zombie, Chan Sung Jung, as we get ready to go here in round one. He's got a lot of late finishes, but not afraid to get the opponent out of there early. Second fastest knockout in UFC history against Paul Kamenek, to his credit. We'll see if Chan Sung Jung gets out of the shoot quickly tonight. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Both fighters throwing heat now. That left hook was crazy. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poke. Oh, the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. That submission was tight. Big ground and pound. Holding on to the submission attempt here. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Albert. All right, so look at that. A cut has been... Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Albert's looking for an arm bar here. What a tight arm bar. This has got to be it. He's got the submission. It's getting tight right now, John. Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Aldo's looking for an arm bar here. He is no one-trick pony. Oh, looks like he's got the arm isolated. There's the point.
ready to fight. He's ready. Well, Jose Aldo has wanted to get his hands on Conor McGregor for more than five years. They will finally rematch here tonight. Round one is underway. McGregor Aldo at two. I mean, it can't live up to that. The moment of the first fight, when Aldo went down, and McGregor jumped on the fence, you understood that this was just something different. That would never happen again in mixed martial arts. How do they top it? They're about to attempt that right now. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Ooh. Nice leg kick. Oh, just open it up on him now. Oh, flying knee to the head. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh. Checks the leg kick. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been open. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover and... Oh. Marshall, that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Well, the fighter's gonna have to... Oh. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Back to his feet. Another uh, trade, huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Got hurt again. Late round action here, and it has been vintage Jose Aldo. This is big. That's big. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only going to continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front. Under a minute now. Oh! Holy smokes! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a good.